ball for the over 50s, but with goals and saves like these, you wouldn't be able to tell. This is walking football, the sport where running is banned, but team spirit, tactics and cracking strikes are top of the team sheet. The sport hit the headlines after being shown in a TV advert and is essentially five-a-side football, with all of your usual embarrassments, of course. And organiser David Jones is delighted to see it growing in popularity in the region. Um, it's been hard, it was a slow burner at first, um, but then you may have seen the advert on the telly which featured walking football, and once people seem to know about it, they seem to come along, they googled it, they found our session and they've, it's grown from strength to strength. We regularly get around 20 players every week come and play and obviously today we've had a group from here in Newcastle and a group from South Shields who get similar numbers over there um, come and play. So it's a growing game um, elsewhere around the country it's even bigger um, so we're hoping that there'll be more sessions open in Northumberland and Durham and around the North East and we'll keep on growing. And it's just a great way for people either over 50s or anyone really who has a, maybe can't run a full pace of a game anymore to stay in the game and keep playing. We've got loads of players who used to play 11 aside on a Saturday or Sunday who stopped and haven't kicked a ball for 20, 30 years and then they've come back and it's brilliant. Um, there's other guys who haven't played at all ever and they've used it as a fitness exercise to lose some weight or to build up some muscle in their legs and after a few weeks of finding it a bit hard they get going and and play really well but basically it's just regular football with a bit of a difference to allow people to play it for longer. The game may look slow and a less intense version of the real thing but in reality it's anything but. Less speed calls for more tactics, less physicality demands more precision and it's not just more difficult to play but referee too as John Laws found out. It was, it was really different. I mean, I referee a, a lot of open age football from uh, futsal to five aside. This is a complete new experience. Uh, uh, it's a lot more difficult, a lot technical um, for players who you wouldn't class as being in fit fit. Um, and for a referee's point of view, uh, the camaraderie was absolutely outstanding um, between the players. But it's, it's difficult trying to distinguish between what's a walk and what's a run and, um, and, and the foul aspect. But um, the whole event today has been a, a big eye-opener for me and uh, I'm really, really buzzing about it. Uh, I enjoyed refereeing it and there's not many games I come off and say I refereed uh, and enjoyed it. Football's universal from, from young kids right the way up to um, adults, but there's not much for the over 50s or the... We're, there's an over 40s league which finishes, but there's not much over 50s, and it tends to be gyms or, or summer classes or whatever. And it's great that they can keep that interest in football. And let's face it, we all think up here we can do it, doesn't matter what age we do, and we can always tell uh, somebody else how we we'll do it better. And it's great to see them play football. Well, to be honest, we all thought it was a joke when we first seen it on the TV. Um, I know what it is, it's, it's a load of old men kicking a ball about and doing something they love and they've done all their lives but thought they couldn't do it anymore. Um, plus it's a, it's a big social thing, it's, it's as technical as proper football, it's hard to walk when you've been used to running all your life. Um, it, it's harder than people think, that people should come down and, and have a go. The question is then, how far can this sport go? There's people who've come who've said to me that they didn't think they could be able to do it, they wouldn't be able to play and then they've had a go and they've really enjoyed it. I mean, you can see there's different levels of ability. People can, you know, some people could still probably play regular football, but they enjoy the walk in football because it reduces their chance of injury. So anyone who wanted to play, I'd recommend them to get in touch and to come down and give it a go. Um, they'll really enjoy it and they'll feel the benefits from it.